It's the largest state in the U.S., home to 227,000 people, and much of what they eat, drive, or wear comes through here. The Port of Anchorage itself is really the lifeblood of the state of Alaska. And it's also important to the military. We've had over 30 deployments in and out of the port for Iraq and Afghanistan. The strategic location is unique. Cook Inlet has the second highest tidal range in the world. We have about a 30, on average, a 38 foot tide range. So we've get, get a tremendous flood tide and a tremendous ebb tide. Tides that deposit a considerable amount of glacial silt, which means annual dredging is a must. We remove about 2 million cubic yards a year. That's enough to fill 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Two of them are working on the, the maintenance dredging, what we call the maintenance dredging, and one is actually working on the transitional dredging. That transitional dredging is part of a $23 million effort designed for growth. Now, as part of the future expansion of the port itself, uh, Governor Sheffield's plan is to basically expand the Port of Anchorage out, uh, out about approximately 400 feet from the dock where we are right now. We have to have areas that are probably 10 feet below the water line right now and need to be brought down to almost 40 feet below the water line so the larger ships can use it. And that will almost uh, double the capacity of the port itself. Which will affect industry, people, and pubs. Mary Cochran, Anchorage, Alaska. More core news is at usace.army.mil.